Are you concerned about the possibility of AI rebelling against the humans that actually created it? You know, this is a concern with many people I speak about in terms of AI and from different levels of experience and comfort with this, with this topic. You have people that know little and that are worried about it and you have people that know a lot that work in the area that also are worried about the consequences of AI development and of AGI. But there are people that are thinking, working hard, researching about these topics and coming up with possible solutions for these issues and even clear roadmaps uh, for how we can develop an AI and an AGI that actually benefits mankind. And in this video, we'll dive deeper into this concerning issue of AI rebelling against human and also the possible solutions according to different experts. Solutions such as the one that are being developed by SingularityNet, a project that combines both blockchain and AI to solve these issues in a very innovative way, I would say. You know, if, if we think about it, AI is a revolutionary technology and it's a different technology from all the technologies we've created before as humans, okay? Because it's not just the tool that we can use as humans, it's the first technology that is truly independent, that will be able to think by itself, it will have its own intelligence. As such, artificial intelligence will do exactly that, it will learn by itself. It will reach conclusions from all the stimulus, from all the data that it is fed and all the interactions it has, which means that we cannot really control how it's going to be developed, especially when we have AI out in the world and it has all the kinds of, all kinds of different interactions and data that is being fed into. So it's kind of unpredictable how it can develop. In fact, many are the stories of AI developers that have experienced an AI acting in unexpected ways considering its programming and the data that it has been given. So it's important to you know, really understand this level of independence and unpredictability in the process of developing AI and also reflect on what are the consequences it can have for humankind, how can we prepare ourselves to mitigate potential risks. This is especially important because, you know, AI is not just something that is its own intelligence. It can actually develop into AGI. And uh, AGI is a form of intelligence capable of doing um, everything we humans can do, but more, you know, better with the more capacity as, for example, you know, they don't have such a, some of our limitations, like they don't need to sleep, they don't need to eat or to rest. You know, and they have the capacity to do calculations much faster. They have the capacity to retain and process much more information. So they can actually be superior to us in a lot of different things. And that's something I approach in a previous video I've done about the dangers of AGI. And it's definitely a video you should check out where we also present some very interesting uh, solutions. The thing is actually reaching AGI is much closer than we actually think. Because AI development, uh, you know, it's done at a, an exponential rate. So it starts very slowly, but then, you know, we'll all be mind blown by the pace of the development of AI. And especially with technologies that are developing, such as robotics, quantum computing, you know, the development of AI can actually be pretty incredible and pretty hard for us humans to grasp how it can learn so much so fast. So with such a fast development of a technology that has really amazing potential and has a level of unpredictability, it's normal to have concerns about the rebellion of AI and what that might mean to humankind. As you know, when it becomes more pow powerful than humans, than ourselves, it could actually go against us and you know, just be a net negative for all humankind in many different ways, either through destruction of humankind or, you know, just uh, completely changing our lives to a serfdom position. Who knows? It's, <laughs> the scenarios are kind of speculative, so I don't like to go too much into that. But I think what is important to dive deeper into is the solutions. How can we actually avoid those possible issues with the AI development? 
some of the solutions I've already presented in the previous video about the dangers of AI that I told you about and that you can check here at the top. Um, where I state basically that blockchain can actually play a very important role in the development of AI. So we can leverage another revolutionary technology to help us with the development of, of AI. And there are many ways that this can actually be done. One, for example, is that we can leverage blockchain to create a, a global governance model, let's say, for the development of AI and AGI to ensure that the people interested in this topic will be respected, will have a saying, and that the will of the majority through these governance models will dictate the important decisions that need to be done across time in terms of AI development. So these decisions, instead of being made by a few individuals uh, developing a, an AI or AGI, or instead of being made by the board members of a company like Google or OpenAI or Microsoft, it would actually be done by humankind as a whole. And it would represent our our wants, our needs, our values, what we, we deem as important, because these are decisions that will affect the entire humankind. And these are decisions that need to be discussed uh, by us. And, you know, we should decide as it is going to affect all of us. You know, this is something SingularityNet is looking to do with the SingularityNet DAO. And you can learn more about SingularityNet in this video that I have here at the top, diving deeper into this project and some of the amazing things they are doing. For the decentralized governance, DAOs can play certainly a big role, as it's stated here by Ben Gortzel, the founder of OpenCog and also of SingularityNet. Is, AGI can do that, but different AGIs will do it in, in, in different ways, right? And once, once you get to a super intelligence, it's going to have its own ethos and its own, its own idea about what to do. But in the pathway between here and AGI, what we need is something more like a, a DAO-like structure for guiding the ethos and mentality of, 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 the, of the AGI, right? Because, I mean, yeah, eventually, once it's 10 times the smartest people, it will have its own ideas, just like uh, we have our own ideas about, about uh, how to, you know, steward the, the animals in the forest or something, which they're not going to fully understand. But we've got a few years to get there now, and there's got to be something better than large corporations or current government agencies to sort of mediate the influence of the of the mass human mind on, on the evolving mind of the of the AGI. I mean, DAOs are not perfect and usually don't work very well. On 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 the other hand, it seems a more sensible structure than. Uh, than anything else that's that's out there now, and that, that's one thing I think we need to think through is how can how can we really make decentralized governance work in in, a, in an AGI context? Another option to leverage blockchain to help us with AI development is to feed the data um, into AI models through blockchain, and with that assure that you know there is transparency not only in terms of the development of this AI, the open source development of AI but that there is also transparency in terms of the data that is being fed and we know what what the AI is learning and how it's reacting to the information it is getting and with this option different AIs are also you know able to exchange and transact data in a transparent way in the pursuit of AGI through the blockchain and this is crucial because it will assure transparency it will allow to troubleshoot any issues that can happen in the development of AI and AGI and this approach is also something that is being explored by SingularityNet. And you can also learn more about SingularityNet in that video I told you about. Another possibility of leveraging blockchain that could be explored is the possibility of deploying AI and AGI into a use case specific blockchain and setting clear rules in terms of this blockchain for the development of AGI and for the execution of the AI services, so there would be clear principles that would have would need to be respected for the AI to be able to carry its actions. Blockchain can also allow to decentralize AI in terms of development and in terms of ownership, because you know combining both technologies, you know there wouldn't be a central owner of AGI. Instead, it would be the result of the efforts and contributions of many 
because it will be many AIs that would be feeding these AGI through these transactions across the blockchain. And it would be something, you know, much more impartial with the influence of several different companies and people. And if you're finding this interesting and you're learning about AI and AGI, then please drop me a like and help this, this video reach more people. And if you are anything like an AGI and you want to keep on learning constantly, then please subscribe to this channel. We'll do our best to give you interesting content about AI, but also blockchain. And another interesting idea for the development of beneficial and benevolent AGI is to actually slowly grow AGI as a, ch a child, basically. It might be something that looks strange, but it's, it's a very interesting method because they can learn the principles and become empathetic, you know, uh, like what happens to humans. Basically, humans, little children are like sponges. They observe what they see and their environment. And by having the parents guiding them through life, they learn important values, important concepts and important rules. And they can be empathetic with the humans usually. And that's what we hope we can do with um, AI as well. And this will include as well giving AI an actual body mimicking uh, human experiences and some sensations. Uh, as you can see here uh, in this video uh, of Ben Gertzel sharing these ideas and what he expects that that is the impact from growing AI and AGI in this way. The way I have instilled my four human children with the human values that, that I prefer is mostly not by preaching at them what's right and what's wrong. That's not very effective, especially for people with a contrarian personality, which somehow all my kids ended up with. I don't know how. Right? The, the way I inculcated them with some approximation of the values that are important to me is just by you know spending time with them in, in various situations and if your children enter into various situations with you and see how you respond to various things and how you guide them to respond to various things in, in, in real life then your kids pick up sort of by, by osmosis right I mean I mean they pick up due to the their desire to imitate and, 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 and to learn and to follow that they, they, they pick up the practicalities of your values and, and, and your culture and Interestingly, this can stick with them on an implicit level, even if on a surface level many values change, right? So, I mean, I've, one of my sons became a Sufi Muslim at one point, and, you know, some of his values are, on the surface, very different, different than mine now. I mean, I'm, I'm not Muslim, I'm not religious in any conventional sense. On the other hand, you know, he's, he's a very compassionate, kind-hearted person, he's very intellectual, he, he, he's a scholar, so if you look at a practical level, the vast bulk of the values and, and culture that he got from myself and his mom when he was growing up, you know, it's implicit rather than in a list of rules, but, it, but it's, it's all still there, right? Now, for an AI, I think we need to take an approach somewhat similar to what we do with, with human children. We need to have AIs working and playing side by side with us in real situations. We need to give the AIs, you know, a desire to imitate us on a basic level and to understand, you know, why we're reacting, how we react in this after this after this concrete situation. And then the AI can get a practical model of our values and our culture as it's manifested, you know, in, in a hundred thousand or a million real life situations. And this, uh, this doesn't guarantee the AI will always respond the way we want, but it will give it a real foundation, which you're not going to get from giving a list of like the three or, or ten laws of, uh, of being a, a good human or a good human-like mind. In addition to the ideas of Ben Gortel and the Singularity Net team that has a lot of brilliant minds, there are also other interesting ideas from people such as Ilya Sitzkeva from OpenAI. Sorry for butchering your name, but uh, you know he's, they are basically the creators of ChatGPT, as you guys probably know, and you know they believe it's possible to program and develop AGI to want to help humans, uh, as basically you have with, with um, parents that want to help their kids. You can see it here in this video. Yes, and my answer is, it's definitely possible to build AI systems which will want to be controlled by their humans. In the same way that human parents generally want to help their children, they want their children to succeed. It's not a burden for them. They are excited to help the children and to feed them and to dress them and to take care of them. And I believe with high conviction that the same will be possible for an AGI. It will be possible to program an AGI to design it in such a way that it will have a similar deep drive that it will be delighted to fulfill and the drive will be to help humans flourish.
So as you can see by all these examples, this is a, a topic that is really being thought out and explored in different ways by different experts that are currently developing AI and reflecting on these important issues for many years. But, you know, I'm curious to know from all these options you've seen here, what do you think is the best solution for the development of AI in a benevolent and beneficial way? Just please drop your um, opinion in the comments and if you want to know more about AGI, AI and more specifically about Singularity Net and how you can as an individual participate more actively and ever saying in the development of AI and AGI, then please check this um, onboarding playlist into Singularity Net with a few couple of videos very interesting with everything you need to know to start engaging actively in the Singularity Net ecosystem. And on my side, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all your support. And I'll see you in the video playlist about Singularity Net.